information going to your cerebellum, your cerebellum just says, ah, the heck with this, I don't get it. Um, <clears throat> I have to be careful about language. <sighs> Ah, that's close. Um, so your brain is so confused because it's received all the sensory information about position in space, right? So you end up feeling nausea. You want to die, right? Now, let me give you another good example of that. One time I went to the Galapagos Islands. Uh, you know what they are? I've heard of them. Okay. where they are. These are islands about 1,000 kilometers off the coast of Ecuador, South America, right? They're out in the middle of nowhere, right on the equator, and Chuck went there. Charles Darwin went there. Right? Chuck, we're on first day. <laughs> uh, anyway, Charles Darwin went there and um, and wrote. So I thought, well, if Charles has been there, I'm going there. So uh, I've been most of the places Charles has been to. I'm still working on this. Anyway, so uh, I went there, but I went. It, you know, these are it's a national park. There's very few places you can actually stay on the islands. You have to do it uh, as kind of a tour thing, right? But what happens is I found a small boat, a small tour that would take 15 people, and there was like six crew members or something like that, right? So, so this little boat, you go from island to island. Well, the islands are a long way apart. So we went to one of them one night, and one day, I should say, spent the whole day on the island. And the next day, we were going to go to another island, but it was a whole day's sail to get to it. So anyway, we set off the next island, the sun sets, and then suddenly all the hell broke loose. The, the, the storm came up, and the waves were two or three times the height of this room, okay? Uh, which was pretty big in a little boat, right? So bad storm, and there's a whole lot of people on the boat thinking, oh my god, we're going to die. Um, and, uh, but anyway, what they tried to do is ignore what was going on because it scared them. You know, you look out the portholes and there's these gigantic waves, you know, and flashes of lightning and rain pouring down. So what they did was they, they ate or they played cards or they watched their, you know, uh, um, computer things and all this kind of stuff, right? Um, so people did all this kind of stuff, but I, I've been to sea like this before, so I just sat there and I thought, no, no, I just stared out the window for two reasons. One, I like storms, because they're kind of cool. And secondly, I never took my eyes off the horizon. So now, about 20 minutes later, the ship sounded like a ghost ship because all you could hear was the sound of, oh, and that was not ghosts. It was just people wanting to throw up all over the place. They were all seasick. Everybody was seasick except the crew and me. So what was the difference? Well, see, I didn't try to distract myself by looking at a book or a, a computer or something like that. I just watched the horizon. So when my brain was getting all this information from my semicircular gas going like this, my visual system was also telling me, oh, by the way, the world's going like this, right, as the boat tosses around. So then my brain was able to correlate the two kinds of information, and I didn't get seasick. And that's the secret. Seasickness, if you want to avoid it, you never take your eyes off the horizon. So you can make sense of all the weird head. Now, think about this now. Have you ever tried driving in a car where you're not the driver? You're in the back seat, and let's say you're trying to make time go faster and you read and stuff. What do you get? Oh my god. Car sick, right? You know who never gets car sick? You the driver. The driver. And I'm always the driver, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's one reason. The only time if I'm not driver, I, I might as well be the driver because I'm staring straight ahead of the road. I'm watching what's going on, right? Um, and I never feel car sick, but I know if I try looking down, I do get sick. 